Hey guys, I'm Pete Richardson, part of the education team here at Splash, taking over this week's run of show. Now, as an educator at Splash, I've seen a ton of event pages. Some are really well designed, some not so much. So for everybody in that second bucket, we've developed the seven principles of design to help make your event pages stand out. Number one, above the fold. Now, this is a common notion in web design, but for you non-designers out there, it's for all your information to live inside your actual browser window without having to scroll. Now, that's okay, but too often do I see event pages where one of two things happens. Number one, everything is kind of crammed up top. You have your speakers, you have your registration form, you have your about the event section. Maybe you're even trying to cram a map in there. That's no good. Or number two, you have what we call the infinite scroll, where as I kind of start scrolling down the page, I'm learning a little bit about your event, scroll a little longer than I see your location, scroll a little longer than I see the speakers. That's no good too. Aim to find a happy medium between the two, using effective design elements that urges your attendees to want to explore more about your event. Some effective design elements include literally an arrow that just points below the fold. Or maybe it's something as simple as a subtle gradient that will smooth the transition from block to block. Or lastly, maybe it's just an attractive background image that guides the attendee down the page further. Number two is the delightful world of hover states. Now think of it as an opportunity to bring some emotion and some motion to your event page. Examples could include on a button, maybe it's just a slick underline or maybe it's a nice drop shadow. Maybe that button actually changes to an animated GIF to bring some fun into the page. Or maybe you're talking about changing your speaker's image to hover to reveal their bio. Any of those ways are effective ways to actually bring some life to your event page. Number three is the holy moly trinity. At Splash, this is how we describe the entire registration process. And it's pretty simple. These include a fun to click on button, a beautifully branded form, and whether it's on page or through email, that confirmation message really ties it all together. All three of these are important to your guest experience, so you want to make sure that everything is cohesive. Number four, mobile first. We're living in this digital world where the majority of people viewing the internet is going to be on their mobile phones, whether they're on the subway, they're on their way to work, they're walking down the street. There's not a lot of time to kind of register for an event, especially if they've just been texted an event, they click on that event card and they go right through the registration process. You're going to find 59% of the attendees are going to be registering for your event pages on their mobile device. If that's their only experience with your brand's event page, then it better look as beautiful as it does on desktop and tablet, right? So let's make sure that as we're designing these pages out, let's consider what it's going to look like on the mobile device. Swap back and forth between the desktop mode, the mobile mode, and the tablet mode to make sure that everything's crystal clear on all devices. Okay, number five, imagery matters. So if you're thinking about kind of creating your event page and you might not be as blessed as like, let's say a National Geographic or a Red Bull that has these beautiful striking imagery, right? Well, don't fret because you're in luck. There's plenty of royal free stock photography websites out there that you can download from. And you're looking for, there's never really a perfect size image. Uh, you you want to have something as high res as possible because you know even if you are building your event page on a small laptop screen, there might be some attendees out there that are viewing it in a large monitor. So we want to make sure that your imagery kind of renders crystal clear. What also is really neat is that Splash actually has some of those integrations already built into the software. So we pair with uh, partnerships like Unsplash and Giphy to bring you high res free licensed photography directly into the tool without ever having to actually leave the product. All right, that leads us to point number six, keep it simple. Now, this reminds me of a great quote, and it goes, perfection is achieved not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. Now, this kind of goes back to a notion in architecture where you're not actually designing a building, you're designing the space that people inhabit. So when you're designing that space, think about the things you can take away until it becomes the perfect home for somebody. The same notion can be applied to web design. When you're designing your event pages, don't be concluding 10 different fonts or 30 different colors. Don't be having things left aligned and right aligned so the eye is just kind of wandering around the page. Get to the point. Think about your event and everything that you need to convey, and then think about the people that are going to be attending that event, and then execute your strategy in the most simple way. Now, that takes us to our last point. It's been overstated to know your audience. 
But I want you guys to take it a step further. I'd rather have you guys speak to your audience. And nobody is going to do that better than you. So let's engage with the audience through your messaging. Now, you could be living in this digital world and not really be engaging with your attendees one on one, of course, but any type of human interaction is going to be completely refreshing. Whether it's as simple as having your RCP button's text change to let's party, or maybe you're hitting them with a brilliant confirmation message that really gets them excited for actually registering that event, and you kind of brand it with a nice, beautiful animated GIF, that's going to be the way that's really going to turn the switch for you guys. Give some thought to how you want to connect to your brand's voice and your audience through your messaging. So there you have it, our seven principles. Now, whether you're a designer, an event marketer, an event planner, it doesn't really matter. These aren't formal rules by any means. We're not going to come to your door and kick it down just because you're not following these guidelines. We just have, in our humble opinion, the seven best ways to make your event page more effective. That's it for this week. We look forward to seeing you next time on Run of Show. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe and check out future episodes of Run of Show.